Welcome to this edition of Sunnycast, Sunnycast High School's news talk show. I'm Laura. I'm Ashley. I'm Ruth, filling in for Vicky. I'm Sammy, and we're your hosts. Later in today's show, our guest, Kevin, will be telling us about the H1N1 virus. But first, we're going to tell you what's up at Santa High School. Yearbooks are $75 until September 18th. After that, it goes up to $80, so go buy yours now. Senior, senior ads are now on sale. Go pick up your senior ad packet in the main office or room 303. Also, seniors, we're going to have another class meeting September 8th in Miss Miller's room, room 115, after school. Don't forget, last chance to make up pictures is this Friday. Now it's time for today's story. Welcome to our show, Kevin. Thanks. So, Kevin, what made you do the story? Well, because the swine flu is pretty close to our school. It's already in um, the North Country and uh, Antelope High School, and it's pretty close to our school, so uh, I just want everyone to know. Uh, what would happen, what's the circumstances, and you know, how, bad, how bad it is. So. Wow, I didn't know that. Is that close? Good idea. Okay. 2009 has been a bad year for the flu outbreak and a terror-stricken year for the infamous H1N1 virus, also known as the swine flu. While people's fear of the H1N1 virus may have dissipated, there have been a few outbreaks at a local school such as North Country Elementary and Wilson C. Rouse Middle School. With the likelihood of more outbreaks, there is a chance of the virus coming to our own campus. Center High School is in contact with the Center for Disease Control constantly and for very good reason. You know, this virus is going to hit like any other flu. Uh, it, it's just a matter of time before it's on our campus. The main thing to be uh, to keep in your mind is it's not a reason to panic. It's just like any other flu. Uh, the Center for Disease Control is in contact with us. Uh, constantly. Uh, the State Department of Education is in contact with us constantly. We're in contact with Sacramento Department of Health. Some fear the flu could reach epidemic proportions which may force safety precautions like quarantines or worse. Shutting down the school would be absolute worst case scenario. Uh, it appears that the vast majority of people who are already in, in good health are, are just dealing with this flu like any other flu. You know, they're over it in a few days. Uh, you know, last year I think some schools closed down just because we didn't, we weren't really sure in this country what the what this virus is going to do. And now we have a little bit better understanding of what's going on. I, I don't foresee us uh, closing down. There are simple precautions we can take to help prevent the spreading of the virus. Wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. Uh, don't share, you know, drinks. Don't share eating utensils. Uh, try and cover your coughs and sneezes. Uh, it's no, it's spread just like any other flu. Uh, it's going to go around. There's nothing extraordinary that you need to do besides the normal things you do during a normal flu season. The CFC says if they get more than five cases of swine flu in two weeks, they may recommend to shut down the school. The chance of getting the H1N1 is going to be dangerously high, but don't panic. Don't be surprised if someone at center gets the flu. The easiest way to protect against the spread of the H1N1 virus is to stay home when you're sick. Swine flu or not, you should still stay home when you're sick. I'm reporting for CTV News. This is Kevin from Tesla Park. Wow, make sure you wash your hands with lots of hand sanitizer. Okay, now it's time for the kiddos theme. Our last week theme was, what would you do for a Klondike bar? This week's winner is Daniel Bellows, class of 2011. Congratulations. Daniel said he'd slap a leprechaun in the face while singing, I wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. <laughs> this week's kudos theme is your cutest first kiss story. Send your answer to centercastkudos at yahoo.com. That concludes this episode of Centercast. On our next show, we'll actually have Allison Carr talking about the litter around our camp campus. Thanks for watching Centercast. Dedicated, informed, and, and up to date. <laughs>